Okay, this is just a very quick video. I've just set up my 3D printer, which came this morning. And this is, when it's warming up, it's just heating up at the moment. But I'm printing the first part for BBA. You can see there it says BBA antenna, which I've got here on a bit of 3D CAD. Uh, the two discs are obviously going to be broken away later. That's just for supporting it while it's being printed. So here we go. Um, bit of a big, big day this. Instead of having to make things out of bits and pieces and make things do, I can actually access the proper plans and I can print the stuff for real. I've done a couple of little test prints from the 3D printer already. One was this little chap. Uh, can't see him little robot it's a little um, logo for the company that makes the printer Ultimaker and uh, basically all you do you get your drawing either create yourself whatever you want to make or in this case I've downloaded files from um, the R2 and BB8 builders clubs because the files are all open source uh, and um, convert it using this bit of software called Cura which slices it all up so that it, uh, the 3D printer knows what to do, pop it on an SD card which then goes into the 3D printer and well, it's still heating up but I'll, I'll record you a little bit more of when it actually starts making it. further on in the print, um, about 10 minutes in, and it's really starting to look like that antenna now, there's the big area around the bottom, it's basically just um, a base, just something to give it, something to stick down to the print bed, and then that will be um, trimmed away later on, but it's the shape of the antenna in the middle now, which you can clearly make out. <laughs> Okay, and that's what we get. Um, so what I've done is I've printed the two halves of the antenna. They're printed in ABS. Um, and what I'll do, what I'll be able to do when I get some, is buy some acetone, and those will just literally be chemically. If you paint uh, a little bit of acetone on each half, because this is ABS, very much like glue, uh, it will melt the surface, and you'll actually get a chemical weld the two surfaces will become one um, so it's very very strong um, that's the advantage of ABS the disadvantage is it's really difficult well it's my first time um, but I'm having trouble getting the ABS to stick on the print bed it tends to warp as it cools and it sort of curls up and then as the print head goes across it can pick it up and end up dragging it and move the whole thing and the whole thing is ruined um, there's a couple of failed test prints I've done uh, of a third of BB-8's head, which both failed. Uh, I'm trying a bit with PLA at the moment. This is the top bit of BB-8's head. The, uh, the grey bit there. And that's the antenna, actually. That's, that's the little white antenna we've just made. Um, so just trying to make out small, and then I'm build, gonna build up and up in size. So that, that grey, area is going to be this thing. So, it'll be about a six hour print. Um, having said that, yeah, it says five hours now. 
Um, because it's doing just a, a partial fill inside, it's not filling it completely, which obviously saves on, it gives it strength, but um, reduces weight and reduces wastage to the material. Um, that's looking like that's coming on quite well, so yeah, so. I don't know if the, uh, the time remaining is sort of Microsoft time, i.e. You know, it changes from time to time, uh, or whether it's more accurate, but uh, we shall see. We shall see. I think while it's doing this bit, because the infill is not 100%, it's going to speed things up a little bit for a while, and then when it comes to do the top and it goes back to 100% infill, then it will slow down again. But this is sticking down nicely on the print. This is PLA, this isn't ABS, which you seem to need a nice, clean, smooth print bed with no glue or anything on it. And that seems to sit down just nicely, it's not cleaning up at all, touch wood. Um, but um, with ABS it's very different, you've got to keep the bed hot and you can see how it was starting to warp when it lifts and then the whole thing goes wrong. So, early days, it's only day two, but um, I just thought I'd show you the arrival of the 3D printer um, because this enables me to build things I just couldn't build before. Um, both for the models, uh, I'm trying a bit of droid building, um, and anything else. You know, if you want to make yourself a mobile phone holder for the desk, you can just, you know, flesh it out on a bit of CAD and, um, and print it. So, anyway, that's it for now. I'll catch you next time.